Pino Black, folks. I'm basically making a video here real fast to show you how fast we really did get to. We got up to 700 miles an hour on our solar wind speed. Okay, and actually it's not the solar wind because uh, the sun can't put off 700 mile an hour solar wind. Well, it can, okay, and it has, and maybe this is partially uh, the sun, but remember the videos that I will have in the next few videos and that I've had in a little bit in the past, and I'm going to show you, and we need to go through my videos a little bit. So I wanted to show you how fast the solar wind has gotten recently. We're also going to go over to uh, Space Weather and show you something there. So there's some actual factual data for you, and you see dropping in, and I'm, just, I'm going to show you how low it has dropped just recently, too. I'll give you a real fresh right here. And this backs up some of the dark, big, huge objects that we've been seeing from, uh, and I'll take you to my videos and show you what I'm talking about, because what you're going to see is what you have to remember, that what they are talking about right here, now remember, they're wondering about the maximum, saying it's going to predict and it's going to pick up, and I would somewhat agree with that, but if it doesn't pick up, I kind of basically stayed right on a coin on this because the idea of flip a coin, we've been seeing a lot of dry fart CMEs and filament instead of coronal mass ejection. They call them filament CMEs, coronal mass ejection, but they're really not a coronal mass. They are, they're massive, but they're filament, okay? A lot of very particles, uh, fusion, nuclear fusion particles from the sun. Okay, now you have to remember that, that when you see this eclipse, remember this is man-made because what it is is the light curvature to the lens of the camera that's taking the shot. So remember that the darkness that you're seeing is the light curvature close to the camera, that's correct, close to the camera that Earth is blocking out. Because remember, an object in space, I've already proved you from NASA, that an object in space will only put a shadow off the same size as its body size, okay? Earth is tiny as hell. The only thing it's doing is Earth is basically blocking the sunlight close to the SDO, SDO's vernal eclipse, okay? Don't fake yourself out in mind thinking that the Earth eclipses the sun this dark, okay? It's just blocking the light curvature to the lens of the satellite that's why when we always show you, and let me show you a fresh shot of Venus to show you how large Venus looks because it's so close to the uh, satellite. And this backs up the fact of, I'm going to take you to the videos in, that I've just recently made, and it's concrete evidence that we have planetoid objects between us and the sun. This is concreting up the fact that, I, the fact, that's not even an idea, it's actual fact. Vino deals with facts, okay, that these are always one IU from the sun. They have to stay that far away, okay? Uh, sometimes they move the satellites in closer, up by Mars and so forth, but you see there's so much electrical activity been going on recently and everything like that that they've got them moved out. So it's one IU here for ACE, because that's the SOHO ACE camera there, which is basically there. You can see the for Stereo B. Now, ACE's red square there is over here. You see, that is Stereo A. So they always stay in awe you away from the sun. So I'm going to take and show you the videos that I just recently made. Okay, so now because people are coming back in and realizing that I'm making videos, I just have to do it at my new site. So basically, there's Stereo B in Earth, and they always stay in awe you away. And then you can go to the actual factual of. Uh, now you have to watch when you read the data because even they don't talk about how fast the wind was actually going. Go back to the data. I showed you that the solar wind has been dying down, okay? So it was still increasing close to Earth, but the idea that the solar wind out there at the satellites was going at 700, 600 plus miles an hour, okay? So now I'm going to give you, so remember this shadow is only because the Earth's shadow, which is the same size as Earth in space, okay? No matter what, Earth's shadow is the same size in space, so what it's doing is close to the satellite, it is blocking the light curvature to the lens of the camera, okay? It's not blocking and making that big of a shadow on the face of, okay? It will not ever make that big of a shadow on the face of the sun. Earth is not that big. This is basically some religious cultic action a little bit at this website because they're trying to psyoptically make you think that the Earth is so huge that it makes a shadow like this. They don't explain to you. They do in the words, but you got to be intelligent enough to know that SDO is Solar Dynamics Observatories, Vernal Eclipse is 
the earth is blocking the light curvature to the lens of the camera which makes that shadow in the camera only there's not a shadow from earth like that onto the sun so yes you have some psychological mind players here in what they see only the intelligent people know when they look at this picture that the idea that it's just blocking the light curvature to the camera on the satellite you see so you got to watch what people put up your you know your pooper put up your pooper you get it kind of like the religious thing that everybody knows about that's dirty and it's been dirty for years and they're starting to finally get blown in yeah so and that's a little bit what's going on with that uh, website there i smell because they're trying to make people think that earth is going to put that big of a shadow onto the sun and it doesn't it's blocking the light curvature at the receptacle of the lens on the camera so there's never going to ever be a shadow from earth that big on the sun and if they try to make you think that the sun's doing that, then you need to go back to my videos and know what actually does make shadows. If ever it makes a shadow on the sun, I'll show you what makes a shadow on the sun like that. Now this site won't go away, and basically I'll cut and paste and show you my uh, my link is right here. Put it right there in the window. There you go. Now I have my other one, which basically I'll go over there to that site there. But what we need to do first, real fast here, and what they're it's nice to know that the idea that someone can have the power that when you're going to go ahead and show pictures of the things that shows that the idea that there's nothing that's going to put like in but there is stuff that will put a shadow like that off so as you see all of the pictures right now are being so I'm being mirrored pretty darn good doesn't bother me at all as you can see all the pictures so we'll refresh the page to see if we can get my pictures of my videos to show up okay because I've been showing you actual factual space now when we're at this website here uh, which the address is right there that I just put in the window. This is my main. You get in there, and then you go to the Beano Black here, okay? And we'll basically, we'll just go ahead and go to Beano Black, go to my site over here, and then we will cut and give you the address for this, that when it comes across. Okay, it's sounding fine, folks. And now I gotta and freeze the volume. basically we're huh? looking at what's gonna end up being either. So we'll go back up. You need to watch this video because basically this shows you the stuff between us and the sun and it's basically there and we blow in on it. And I've got three videos here at this website. And what I'm going to do is I'll open up, uh, I'm going to get the actual address to my website here because basically you can go back to my old site here by clicking there when you're over at the new one to be able to see I had to get over here to upload videos. So now you can either look at featured or browse and what I'm complaining about on YouTube is what they've done is they've took the ability I've got to figure out how to be able to because you used to they, they've taken my favorites away from me and as you can see right now they're not letting any see I'm a magician folks look at this and I'm not but see how that basically they're screwing with me because I'm trying to show you pictures on my video right now and they are so brazen that they are on top of me when I'm making my videos and I'm cruising the internet right now and when I open it up, I'm not being able to show you the pictures to be able to go and point at C. I've been able to show you fact here, the pictures that are highlighted on my videos and so forth to show you what's going on. So anyway, browse videos here, so and then you'll be be able to, and it'll work okay for you. And what they what they've done is I can't favorite things that I've been seeing lately, and basically I'll pop down. Maybe hey, maybe we got the, the glitch. Is it the idea that it's no? You see, it's not the screen size. I'm down. Oh, there it is. It is the glitch. So okay, there we go. It's just the screen size, ladies and gentlemen, because I had it up at 200. Wouldn't it wouldn't focus in it, and that's bullshit. Because basically, as you see them popping in here now, and they're trying to make oh yeah yeah. It's not, it's basically because I'm being mirrored that much. Okay, so anyway, these videos, these three here. Are going to show you what we've got going on there in space now uh factual actual that when i'm going to have to go ahead and go over maybe it is just a glitch of this we'll give them the excuse that it's just because of the size of the speed of the modem and everything like that's a bunch of crap because i'm not going to tell them what kind of computer i got and everything so basically to then make it can hack easier so here's the screen size we're at 125 we're going to pop back over again real fast and show you over at uh you can pop back and forth from here where I load up my channels to, and I guess I'll, and yeah, I do have it right here on this channel. You can click there, and this will go over to it, and I'll go back to the main. And then this is the, the, the new channel where I upload the videos at. And then you can also click here and go back to my other, and then what we need to check out real fast is i got to go over okay, here. Sounding video fine, right here. Folks. Sorry about the sound glitch there for a second, but we got to go check. you got to have to go take check this video out right here, okay? because there's astounding footage in this and I'm going to click and give you the address down here because what I'm doing is they don't allow you to feature videos with a crap 
and there's the address okay and you got to check this video out because basically I can speed along here real fast because you're gonna see plenty of images of this two suns so forth okay and then you're also gonna see I can even speed through here on showing you like this image okay that there that's not that spectacular but I've got there's one with the trees it's really good here's another one it should show up there you go there they're not doubling the image or anything like that as you can watch you'll see the actual fact that what they're getting early sunrise over in Brazil so Photoshop I really don't think so you can watch I remember go to that link and I've got it that you can be able to see it really don't think so see I've seen a bunch of footage of getting suppressed from we've been getting it for a year year and a half and it's been getting suppressed so it's pretty astounding footage I think I'll have some other examples here in a second if I let it play I gotta save a little bit of video time though And then they got this footage here. They shoot from one side of the trees over there, and then they actually even go over to the other side. And there's chemtrails in the sky, and there's clouds, and the utility lines, and so forth. So, actually, it's just chemtrails that they were trying to cover it up, you see. So there is a worldwide organization that's really trying to cover up what's going on at certain latitudes, light curvature angles on Earth, trying to cover up that there is more than one sun. And you can see the chemtrails there in the sky. So... We'll see if they try to suppress my video on this to here in the United States. And then this should go out worldwide. I'm worldwide on YouTube. So Google and I might have some contractual... Uh, they're going to might have their butt in court if this stuff keeps going on. I don't even care if I have to pull the letters that I know. I, mean, I can say letters C, and I can say the letter I, and I can say the letter A. So, I'm an American citizen. i got... Freedom of speech. My father went to war to make sure and he served under MacArthur. The movie better be good or somebody's going to be answering to somebody. Better not discredit MacArthur at all. So anyway, my dad served under MacArthur. Very proud of him. So there's all this footage here with chemtrails in the sky. Chemtrails in the sky trying to cover it up. Okay. So, I'll show you the link again to be able to go to that footage. And there's also this footage here. And actually, I lost a little bit of time of it by going into it. A little bit of the time lapse of it going into it. So, it's very... I'll give you the link and you'll be able to see it even better from the beginning of what I lose on a little bit of time frame of going in here to it. Okay? So, let me show you the link to it. And there's a lot more in here for it okay so they're chemtrailing for a reason okay air conditioning i'm not against chemtrailing it's just the idea that if they're just doing it to cover up that there's way more than one sun in our solar system or at least that it uh and the one astrophysicist down at nasa who's passed away supposedly of natural causes correct so anyhow actual factual now remember, it's this video here that you're going to watch, and then, as you see, it only had 113 views now, so it'll get a little pop more popular before hopefully they won't wreck it. So I basically click there to get over there, and I've got my sound muted, and basically I've got this one here. Remember they always used to tell us the world was flat, right? Well, we I proved to you here in the Nehemiah footage, thank you to the Nehemiah scientists down there, the Nehemiah footage, and you watch the three videos that I have, and you will be able to see that in these three videos I did this one fast this one and then I tried to get the clicks out because I don't have my mic right now and stuff like that so watch all my videos and make sure that we'll go over to another video and I'll show you let's go to my link here and you can always click here to go to the main old link to go to my old footage and then we show you the meatball that will actually make a shadow on the Sun that huge by looking at these videos here I've got lots of them over at my old footage at my old website, okay, got lots on the meatball over here. 
Okay, there's videos that have 19,000 views and it's all actual factual data.